All right, this is my first time speaking at a conference. I was told to start with a good joke, so here you go. When it comes to user experience, just because you made it and you think it's good does not mean your users are going to agree with you. Um, in general, my slide's going to go. There we go. Uh, your front end JavaScript guys, in general, tend to make terrible back end systems. They'll make everything shiny and great on the front end and then they'll just need to save it. Let's just auto-generate auto a REST API on Node, and we'll call it good. And that doesn't take you very far. Conversely, back-end ops guys tend to make terrible front-end UIs. We'll make an awesome system that does all the things, and then we'll try to visually represent all of it. And it doesn't turn out well, typically. Um, unfortunately, most DevOps engineers are back-end ops guys, so our tools tend to suck as far as user experience. Um, I'm not speaking from the ivory tower today. I'm an op back-end guy, too. Every bad example I'm going to show you is something that I've done. Um, I work at Workfront, and we used to have terrible user experience. Um, top to bottom, everything was bad. People hated us, and I can't really, can't really blame them in hindsight. Uh, first joke break. Um, this is what it feels like when your user experience sucks. You give them everything, you check all the boxes, this is what you want, and they still hate it. So, we're gonna show you some screenshots here. This is from our old system. This came from emails we sent out to the whole department explaining how to use our tool, which is right there is a really bad sign if you have to do that. Um, a lot, a lot, this is built on Jenkins. You'll re recognize a lot of this. A really bad layout. You have acres of white space in the middle of the page, tabs that run to infinity and beyond right off the page there. And as you can see it, yes, that is Darth Maul as Jenkins there. That part was actually fine. <laughs> really confusing. Here, click the second dot. That's a link. It's not the same as the link that it's paired with. That takes you somewhere different. There's no way anyone would know that on their own. But apparently you have to, there was a thing you actually had to click that link for, and we had to t show them how to do it. Um, make users, par make them parse through logs for common things. Hey, did all my tests run? I don't know. Go look at the logs. Did it time out? I don't know. Go look at the logs. That's, uh, that's not good. Way too much going on. This is, what is the main data point you're trying to get from this page? There's links and icons everywhere, just stuff everywhere, and there's no point to, we have to point to the specific things they need to look at. Uh, not good. No, next joke break. Um, give you a second there if you can read that. Just because you can add a feature does not always mean you should when it comes to user experience. Uh, so we built a whole new system, top to bottom. Um, so the, the, as far as user experience goes, we uh, totally redid our UI. Um, we wanted to make it, put all of our DevOps systems into one thing, keep it simple. Uh, we wanted highlight our key features that give the people the, what they wanted to know front and center, downplay the nice to have features that they might need to know, but not every time. So we called it ACE. This is the CI portion of our tool. You can see here's our tests right there. Can't read them, but you don't have to click a different link for every different type of tests. All of the nice to have information is over there on the right. It's out of the way. If you need it, it's there. Starting a new test run. This is a really bad example. In the old system, you had to fill out a giant mortgage application to start a test run, when the only two fields that ever needed to change were repo and branch. So we just give them those. If you want more, click the link for more options. It's still there. The functionality is still there. It's just a better design. Plain English error messages. How many times have you done something and it says error? That tells you nothing. Go look at the logs. Yeah, we pull it out for them, parse the logs for them, give them what they need. We simplified our processes. Pull requests at Workfront need three different systems. They need our CI tool, they need our work management tool, and they need GitHub. Instead of making people log into all three systems for one pull request, do it all at one place, click one button. If you can read that, that's all the other systems that we pulled into this one cohesive UI one user experience, not a server here, go this IP address for that service, do this other service over here, it's all in one place. Because uh, at the end of the day, a good user experience is about making people not hate you, which people don't hate us anymore. That's all.